Nadi, Wikipedia article audio. N A I Tamil lit nerve blood vessel pulse is a term for the channels through which in traditional Indian medicine and spiritual science the energies of the physical body the subtle body and the causal body are said to flow within this philosophical framework the nadis are said to connect at special points of intensity called nada chakras introduction Early References Functions and Activities Ida, Pingala, and Sushumna Other Traditions and Interpretations Chinese Tibetan European Notes and References Sources Nadi is an important concept in Hindu philosophy mentioned and described in the sources some of which have about 3,000 years of history. The amount of nadis of the human body are claimed to be up to hundreds of thousands and even millions. In regard to Kundalini Yoga, there are three important nadis, Ida, Pingala, and Sushumna. Ida lies to the left of the spine, whereas Pingala, golden, solar is to the right side of the spine, Mirroring the Ida. Sushumna runs along the spinal cord in the center, through the seven chakras. Under the correct conditions the energy of Kundalini is said to uncoil and enter Sushumna through the Brahmadwara or gate of Brahma at the base of the spine. The Shiva Samhita treatise on yoga states, for example, that out of 350,000 nadis 14 are particularly important, and among them, the three just mentioned are the three most vital. Several of the ancient Upanishads use the concept of nadis. Nadi system is mentioned in the Shandochya Upanishad, verse 8.6.6, .6, and in verses 3.6 to 3.7 of the Prasna Upanishad. As stated in the last, 3.6 in the heart verily is Jivatma. Here a hundred and one na, is a rise. For each of these na, is there are one hundred na, ekas. For each of these there are thousands more. In these Vyana moves, 3.7. Through one of these, the Yudana leads us upward by virtue of good deeds to the good worlds, by sin to the sinful worlds, by both to the worlds of men indeed. The Varaha Upanishad further describes it as follows. The N.A. is penetrate the body from the solace of the feet to the crown of the head. In them is P.R.A. A. the breath of life and in that life abides Atman, which is the abode of Shakti, creatrix of the animate and inanimate worlds. In the Yoga theory, Nadis are said to carry life force energies known as prana. In the physical body, the Nadis are channels carrying air, water, nutrients, blood and other bodily fluids around and are similar to the arteries, veins, capillaries, bronchioles, nerves, lymph canals and so on. In yoga theory, the physical body is often referred to as the gross body. In the subtle and the causal body, the nadis are channels for so-called cosmic, vital, seminal, mental, intellectual, etc. energies and are important for sensations, consciousness and the spiritual aura. Yoga texts disagree on the number of nadis in the human body. Hatha Yoga Pratapika and Goraksha Samhita quote 72,000 nadis each branching off into another 72,000 nadis, whereas Shiva Samhita states 350,000 nadis arise from the navel center. All nadis are said to originate from one of two centers, the heart and the kanda, the last being an egg-shaped bulb in the pelvic area, just below the navel. When awakened, 
Kundalini travels upward within Sushumna. The Ida and Pingala nadis are often seen as referring to the two hemispheres of the brain. Pingala is the extroverted, solar nadi, and corresponds to the right-hand side of the body and the left-hand side of the brain. Ida is the introverted, lunar nadi, and corresponds to the left-hand side of the body and the right-hand side of the brain. These nadis are also said to have an extrasensory function, playing a part in empathic and instinctive responses. The two nadis are believed to be stimulated through different pranayama practices, including nadi shadhana, which involves alternately breathing through the left and right nostrils, which would theoretically stimulate the left and right sides of the brain respectively. The word nadi comes from the Sanskrit root nad meaning channel, stream, or flow. Special breathing techniques are supposed to influence the flow of prana within these nadis. According to this interpretation, these techniques will purify and develop these two energetic currents and may lead to the awakening of kundalini. The ida and pingala nadis are often seen as referring to the two hemispheres of the brain. Pingala is the extroverted, solar nadi, and corresponds to left hemisphere. Ida is the introverted, lunar nadi, and refers to the right hemisphere of the brain. Ida nadi controls all the mental processes while Pingala nadi controls all the vital processes. The medieval Satkakranirapena one of the later and more fully developed classical texts on nadis and chakras, refers to these three main nadis by the names Sasi, Mira, and Susumna. In the space outside the Meru, the right apart from the body placed on the left and the right, are the two nadis, Sasi and Mira. The nadi Susumna, whose substance is the threefold Gunas, is in the middle. She is the form of moon, sun, and fire even water also, her body, a string of blooming datura flowers, extends from the middle of the kanda to the head, and the vajra inside her extends, shining, from the methra to the head. Other cultures also work with concepts similar to nadis and prana. Systems based on traditional Chinese medicine work with an energy concept called qi. Qi travels through meridians similar in description to the nadis. The microcosmic orbit practice has many similarities to certain Indian nadi shuddha exercises and the practice of kriya yoga. Tibetan medicine borrows many concepts from yoga through the influence of tantric Buddhism. One of the six yogas of Naropa is a cleansing of the central channel called Fawa, preparing the soul to leave the body through the sagittal suture. The Vajrayana practice of Trulkir is another practice used to direct and control the flow of energy within the body's energetic meridians through breath control and physical postures. Sometimes the three main nadis are related to the caduceus of Hermes the two snakes of which symbolize the kundalini or serpent fire which is presently to be set in motion along those channels, while the wings typify the power of conscious flight through higher planes which the development of that fire confers. Sushumna, which interpenetrates the cerebrospinal axis, and in Swara Yoga is associated with both nostrils being open and free to the passage of air. The lunar channel Ida is pale in color and located on the left side. It is associated with feminine attributes, the moon, and an open left nostril. The solar channel Pingala is red in color and located on the right side. It is associated with masculine attributes, the light of the sun, and an open right nostril. Sushumna connects the base chakra to the crown chakra. It is very important in yoga and tantra in general. In Raja Yoga or Yoga of Patanjali, when the mind is quietened through Yama, Nyama, Asana, and Pranayama the important state of Pratyahara begins. 
A person entering this state never complains of dispersion of mind. This is characterized by observing the movements slash jerks in sushumna in the subtle body. Sushumna makes the way for the ascent of Kundalini.